Hi everyone and welcome to today's Daily Report Market Analysis videos with me Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Handtech on Thursday the 9th of April. We've got a, a sort of bordering on a positive risk um, look to the market open today in the European session. Uh, dollar slightly corrective, uh, not massively, and um, Euro and Sterling are a little bit positive, dollar index just a tick or so lower. Um, there, but the big news came overnight in Wall Street, where we saw the S and P 500 moving sharply higher. Um, rebounded off the breakout support level around 26.40, held on to that, and then went up into the close. And it was a good move. We saw um, that uh, Bernie Sanders, the um, firebrand um, Democrat candidate, um, pulling out of the race to become president um, yesterday, and the markets took that positively. And uh, what we've seen is that positive attitude come into the European session, European markets all higher. Only slightly, because what we do see is um, a clutch of risk events today, given the fact that we've got the, uh, the uh, Eurogroup meeting again um, to possibly decide on well, the um, 500 billion euro bailout, um, not bailout, uh, stimulus package, but also the cost uh, prospect of Corona bonds or Euro bonds. Um, needs to be discussed. So they're meeting again today. Now, the other factor is we've got the OPEC Plus meeting. Um, OPEC Plus is uh, looking to cut production levels. That, that is um, the OPEC countries in addition to countries such as Russia. Um, and we've seen the oil price ticking higher in the last session or so. Um, and that's come as, uh, I mean, f for example, Q8 overnight was saying that uh, 10 to 15 percent, uh, sorry, 10 to 15 million barrels of production cuts uh, could be seen. Now, this is big, um, but not conceivably as big enough, considering um, reportedly the uh, oil, oil demand fell by around, I think it was 24 million barrels per day in April. But it would be still a, a significant um, event, and uh, any sort of significant production cut, more than that, would be causing a jump, I think, in the oil price. Um, disappointment where there would be perhaps a small cut or perhaps even acrimony um, at the end of the meeting where there would be no cuts or no agreements. I think that would be uh, driving oil price lower. But the volatility in the oil price is significant. But picking up in the last session or so, which has helped to um, also preserve risk appetite. Um, Treasury yields just hovering around actually in the last couple of days. Um, nothing really decisive in terms of direction, although they have picked up throughout the course of this week, uh, just in the last three sessions, have just started to settle down. So yeah, um, in terms of data points today, weekly jobless claims again. Uh, weekly jobless claims are last week caused a massive shock to the markets as we saw 6.65 million claims. Uh, 5.25 is the expectation today. But look, I mean, this is, sorry, this is the chart that's got everyone talking, isn't it? This is the... Uh, jobless claims chart. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just incredible, isn't it? And uh, expected to see 525. So again, another really, really big number today. Um, also looking out for Michigan sentiment, Michigan sentiment today. Um, what we have seen, um, or what, what we will see, I think, in the coming months is how confidence levels really impact on outlook. You, Michigan sentiment could be the indicator to watch in that regard. 75 Spot zero down from 89, spot one is the expectation. Let me show you that on a chart. 75 million, so back down here around these levels of 2014. Oh no, sorry, I'm looking at the yellow line. Back to 2013, but look at this also. I'm gonna be looking out for the expectations component of the Michigan sentiment data uh, in the coming months. That could be the um, a signal for improving um, improving outlook generally um, in the economy um, and light at the end of the tunnel. So today you're likely to see that probably in the 60s, but uh, obviously it's far too early to get any sort of confidence um, surrounding a uh, light at the end of the tunnel. But still, I think Michigan sentiment could be interesting, but 75 today is going to be pretty big negative um, there. Now, now, in terms of um, central bankers today, <coughs> excuse me, we have Jerome Powell speaking at three o'clock, so watch out for that. Obviously, Fed Chair give a, uh, giving a, an assessment of the US economy is always going to be interesting, so watch out for that 
there at three o'clock. Now, my chart today is the Kiwi dollar. What we have seen is the uh, Australian dollar breaking higher. Kiwi dollar has not yet married that um, or met that expect that uh, breakout on the Aussie. The Aussie broke out above its equivalent resistance of 6070 uh, to form a, a decisive breakout. I've drawn in a potential f bull flag pattern, but what um, I think that's uh, obviously pretty early to be doing that, and you need to see a breakout above 6070 to really suggest that that is happening. Um, but that is a potential recovery pattern if it uh, if it can go in the next day or so. But um, if it just starts to sort of roll over and just consolidate, then you wouldn't be classing that as a bull, bull flag. But um, looking at the momentum indicators, you're fairly confident about the continued recovery on um, on uh, the Kiwi dollar at the moment. Um, stochastics, three month highs, RSI, about 10 week highs there on RSI. So we're looking at uh, some pretty decent recovery um, technicals and uh, it would suggest pressure on that 60, 70 resistance. See here on the hourly chart, we've just consolidated a little bit today, but ultimately you're building higher lows and higher highs. 59.70 to 59.20, I've taken this as sort of little um, little pivot lines, really. You can see that and since late March, really, these are 59.20 has been a pivot. Numerous times it's been support and resistance level. And above that, 59.70 has latterly also become a pivot line, actually pretty decent one. So 59.70 would be your first line of support you'd be looking to hold on to, but it's had a bit of a dip back today and held that line, 59.83. So there is still the positive configuration on hourly momentum as well. So still looking to buy into weakness on this rally, but the prospect of this turning into a bull flag is is not been helped by today's consolidation. But uh, if we can see a bullish breakout above 60.70 in the next sort of session or so, then yeah, I'll be, uh, be looking to um, pull on a quite a considerable recovery. So looking decent there, um, but uh, just needs to push up on the Kiwi. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website to sign up for our webinar.